Hello, y'all. This is Chris, and I'm back again. Like, subscribe, and you best be sharing it with your friends. I'm here to share with you some pictures I've been taking of the churches of St. John and how I believe that they show very good evidence of the so-called mud flood. Yeah, so let's uh, jump up on it. So the first one I'm going to share with you today is the Assumption Cathedral and uh, it's out on the west side and uh, yeah it's pretty it's a pretty nice little place it's all right it's got the copper top is it towers to the domes towers to the domes people and then we got the uh yeah the big giant doorways what's going on here is this the uh, <laughs> old school tesla antiquitech and just so happens that coming down from that big giant tower is a bunch of wires just some beautiful beautiful masonry but the door is on like a completely different level it's yeah, just beautiful stonework eh wow this is martello's tower it was actually built in like 1812 or something like that or during the 1812 war so probably yeah, in 1812 back to the assumption cathedral the grade just comes down here and these windows just get kind of smaller and smaller until they have to cover them all up front of the brickwork beautiful that doorway is yeah on the grade there they got some kind of like i don't know what they're doing here is this atmospheric shit or is this just like wi-fi or like what's going on here i don't know, I don't know what what these are about are they, they broadcast in the ceremonies and stuff or something i don't know like it's crazy like it's got all the copper there they could be just wheeling in that atmospheric energy right who knows and then yeah you got the the windows down here that they have to block up because it's just going to get snow and all that crap in it so they just block them up why even bother building them in the first place if you're just going to stone them up look at that just a really nice church eh some have more evidence of the mud flood than the others beautiful churches that have very interesting levels just amazing stonework you got the uh, somatic patterns in the windows, like usual, and they stain glass. And yeah, there's that wire. It comes down and goes back up into here or something. I think that's where it comes up. It goes back up into there. I don't know what kind of shit they got going on over there. And these guys are like faces here, right? Like you got the chin and the mouth, sad mouth, the nose, the eyes, the crown on top. Just, just a cool looking place. The, the somatic pa patterns again. For uh, This is probably the frequency that you have to resonate in this church or something. Or the one that they want you to hit inside this church. And alright, so this is the St. John Baptist Church. The, I think he was built just after the fire like most of these were. Tiquitec, copper uh, cross on the top. But again, like a lot of these places, it's got the like the old stone work and then the red brick on top of it. Maybe two different builders, that's what I think. I'm going to keep going along here. So yeah, this building was erected giggity, in 1884. Uh, I didn't really get the cymatic patterns up in that one yet. We'll have to get that one on. So I'm going to start this on the back of this church, the little walk around. So these guys are built like right at level, right? Like this whole back here, this doorway is built right on right on level and, you know, the windows are right where they should be and all that, right? But as we work our way down, just all just the red brick that they rebuilt everything in, right? How many millions must have put up in this city, right? In every city. And so, yeah, here's the, uh, the grade going down again, like usual. And this is how you can tell. You got an old, the old buildings, right? Is this little, this little build out that they have to meet up with the overhang of the roof. They just, they don't do that anymore. They just, they build it flat straight up. And back then they always just, they always made it beautiful. So when you're looking around your city and you see just a building that goes straight up and there's nothing along there, it's probably a new building. It might not even be, it might just be a brick fascia to it. The way that they did these build outs, you know that there's like four, five, six rows of bricks in here holding this whole building up. And it's just solid shit, right? Like, and yeah, just a beautiful doorway here. And again, just, you know, the windows that they put in and they just have to brick them up. I happen to go there in the winter. So there's probably windows behind here that we can't see. Yeah, look at it. It's just all snowed in, right? Like, why even bother putting windows down there? Did they not ex expect the winter storms that we get here? Like... When were these things built? Before we got these winter storms? Why would you build these windows here just to brick them up? Don't make sense. And yeah, so now we got the, these ones haven't even been bricked up yet. They're just wood. You know, everyone says, oh, well, they just want to let light into the basement. Okay, then why don't they still let light into the basement? It's right now, it just seems like they just cause more problems than, than they're worth. And then this is the other side. Boom. That's, that was the le same level on the other side, but it's now full windows. 
this level is the same the the bricks come up from the same spot right this this is all on level here right doesn't change but the ground the grading does and around the next side here just big old windows they just have big windows on the on the ground they have a little doorway it's like a six foot doorway coming in here like yeah it's got all these windows here they got to break them up on the other side and then they got a doorway that's way in the back here that's like way up right it's, it's back on the level on the other side there's a seagull chilling on the uh, Antiquotec. What up, seagull? All right, here is the... I couldn't even find the name of what this church used to be, but uh, this is now a food bank. Look at it. It's just, you can obviously tell this is where a parking lot is in the back. That would be at the top level. <laughs> this front part is a whole story and a half below, right? Well, let's go take a walk about. <laughs> just amazing doors, eh? Like, look at that paint job. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that's awesome. Yeah. And see again with the, the crazy old build-out to the overhangs. Again, look at that beautiful archway and a <laughs> lovely paint job. 1895. So this guy wasn't, he wasn't built directly after the Great Fire of 1877, but in, he was definitely part of the rebuild. But yeah, just uh, amazing. Just the grades going down further. And look at this, that's the door we were just at, and it keeps just going down. This door is almost, this door is so much lower than that one. And then, yeah, there's your, uh, there's your somatic patterns that you're supposed to be pumping out in this place. Your frequency, you're supposed to be hitting. Yeah. And then the pillars, man. This place has just really nice pillars around all the doorways. These ones are a little little rough. They're not taken care of, but they're not falling apart. Need a new paint job or whatever they've been doing to it. So yeah, so this was built in 1895, burned in October of 1937, then reopened in June of 1938. So like one year later, not even a year later, it burned and then they rebuilt it in seven months. Pillars, look at the pillars, man. They just, they're pumping out their frequencies to each other. This is, these are the obelisks that are around the world. And this is the energy that's being passed through them, symbolized in a doorway, right? That's just all my, uh, my theory. Yeah, so this is the North End Food Bank. This is the back part of it, right? You know, this is the parking lot. Story to a story and a half down in some spots. And then this spot is a new build on. See? It just goes straight up. No fancy work going up the top part there. This is just another build on that they did. Erected in 1950. A memorial Hall. That's how they, that's how we build them now. Just straight up and just a little a couple inch overhang. There's no build out to it. But back in the day, they didn't want to do it like that. They wanted to be very pretty with this. Another beautiful window. So this is the uh, way down the front on the other side. The, uh, op the opposite corner than the parking lot. And yeah, look at this hill that comes up right beside it to go up to the back end of it, right? That hill right there. So we're going to climb up it. But yeah, and I'm, I'm pointing out here that there's this random other foundation that's underneath. It's all across here, right? Underneath all this brick. And it happens here all the time that this is like, you know... This isn't normal brickwork. This is the foundation that was before the Great Fire. That they used to use these big giant rocks, or big giant stones, and a lot of smaller stones and random rock, random coarse foundation. There, there was another building that was here beside it that's gone now that has, there's, you can see some of the remnants of. And so this is the back end. So this would be where you could really see the window that you would have your cymatic pattern in. That you'd have to hear the frequency and pump it in there to do whatever they want to do. There's just like a random foundation that's just left there beside the place. And that's that church mud flutter. All right. And this is St. Peter's Church or Cathedral or whatever the hell they call them. I don't know. There's my beauty. There's my baby right there. Big red. Looking all mean and nasty. This is just another beautiful cathedral, right? And they got their cymatic patterns chilling up on the front there again, like they always do. So this St. Peter's Church here is not just the church. It is actually a whole compound. There's a whole other building over here. There's a whole big attachment that they have in the back. And there's even another building that's like just down the street. And it's all attached to the same thing. I'm pretty certain that this is where they brought a lot of the indigenous people or maybe even like the Acadians or whoever the people that they were wanting to brainwash them and re-educate them into their ways and make them lose themselves and now the the indigenous people don't even know who they are they don't even know where they're from what their ancestors were or 
anything. So this is a big stone wall that they have on well, a big stone wall. It's like four feet, five feet high, but it's a, a stone wall that they have going all the way around the compound. Um, yeah, here's the front of the church. Here's this is the, I believe this is the middle one. Just looking aged, man. They're starting to rebuild and redo some of it, but uh, the city just really doesn't have money to rebuild these places, but they're trying. And it's a damn shame how they treat them too. More pillars going around, a beautiful archway and the stone cross and copper top cross and all that jazz. So this is the the next one. Yeah, like look at how many stairs they have to go up every day. Like I don't think that's wheelchair accessible. <laughs> just so just looking so old, right? And this is the other side. The side they have shut down, fenced off, because the masonry is just looking so bad in spots. Just beautiful, beautiful copper top. And what's with these seagulls? Maybe the sea, maybe it's just this one seagull just following me around all over the city. But yeah, these seagulls just love chilling on top of this uh, these crosses. The somatic pattern, some kind of cherub in the back or in the, the stained glass there. And yeah, this is a better shot of like all the brickwork just falling apart, right? Oh man, looks so bad. And this is the whole big building here, that little attachment that they built on at some point. This is the wheelchair accessible door that they had to build in later to accommodate people. And yeah, all the windows here are on the ground. Another beautiful door. Just decided to just add a few inches over in this, this spot, add a few feet, add a couple feet up. <laughs> I always like this door. <laughs> why not just put in two side lights? Like, why have uh, why have it like that with wooden shims? Like, the little tiny doorway that they used to have, that probably was a bigger doorway or like a window or something that they just kind of had to brick up. Because this is <laughs> this, that's the level now, right? <laughs> and then we got this little doorway here. And then another little, little it's like a six foot doorway over there. They even had to build it down to fit it in. Yeah, all the copper on the top there. Nice. And this is the back area. This compound. These windows are on the ground again. There is a doorway or something that was underneath here. Probably mo another window that was underneath that they had to redo here. This is some statue that they have out back. There's some statues here. This is a little, like, grave site of a bunch of people who came in the beginning and built this place, I guess, or whatever, and they, now they have their own little memorial thing in the background. There's a back shot of it. So this is the building beside it. And this is another spot here, man. Like, look at all these bricks just, like, falling off of it. And it's, like, it's got the old, like, wire things, like, where that's where, like, where the wires used to come through or used to lead out from, I guess, maybe whenever electricity was coming in that way or going out that way. This is the other little compound here. Staircase going down. It's just pretty wild that, like, they have so many different levels. Like, why would, why wouldn't they just build the doorway on the ground and have it just to walk in? Like, why make the people climb up all these stairs to get into all these places, right? I guess you weren't expecting people to age or something? I don't know. And yeah, just look at the brickwork just falling apart. It's a little sad. There's the doorway going down. Look at that. It's like two, three, four bricks deep. Another little statue that they have for these people. And there she is. St. Peter's uh, Church or Cathedral or something. I don't know. And then this is the little, like, a building that's just down the street that's supposedly built at the same time. Imagine owning a house that has, like, a cross over top, like, a stone cross that you can never change. Like, it's like, if Jesus died on a noose, would you want to have, have a noose hanging off the top of your doorway? Jesus got shot, would you want to have, like, an AK on the top? And, yeah, some windows just right on the ground where you put them. And, like, this is the street level, so they obviously had to dig that out just so you could have these windows. This is probably all under dirt at one point. And here's the back way. Just, now it's just a random person's house. Copper everywhere. Beautiful little building, right? And it's got that, that same old build out right under, under the ledge. Just amazing brickwork, right? All done at the same time. All done at the same time all over the city. Keep going here, and there's some more pictures of the place. So this was built in uh, 1883 is what they're telling us. 
six years after the Great Fire, but this didn't wasn't affected because they were up near the reversing falls of St. John. And yeah, and that's there she is. So this is the Stella Maris or Stella Marie. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Yeah, this is a nice church I shot on a nice foggy day. It's right around the corner from me. It's all these different levels. It just has this mud fud vibe. Yeah, they got the bricked up doors. But yeah, it's just a really a nice little church. And uh, so this one was built in 1923 is what they're saying. But they got the stoned up windows. Well, I would just say, like, what's the point? What's, what was the point of this archway at all? If they were going to stone it up with the original stone that they built the whole thing in. This was original foundation. This is an add-on. That's a that's a close-up. Just a really nice church. I really like this one. But yeah, this is like the level that you could walk into this door at. But then there's also a door down here. And there's also the windows underneath here too. There you go. The windows underneath the door. Makes sense. This is the back side to it, and it's like it drops down like 10 feet just in the back here. Drop. This is where the parking lot is, and it drops all the way down, and this is like, this is where the level of the church is, and the back is, and yeah, so that's that's the level of the church there. Yeah, mud flutters. What's with the windows? Why have windows there if you're just going to stone them up? Little tiny windows. See, I would kind of expect that that's how you would build a window, where it's like off the ground, right on the ground. The way we get our, our weather that we have here just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what this little stone block is here. That's part of the old building or something. I have no idea. I just got all the windows. Just a beautiful, beautiful little church that they just had. This little door underneath the other big doors. Don't, like, why build this and then brick it up in the same stone? Like, I just, that doesn't make sense to me. And like, yeah, you got the copper top here. At least there's no seagull on top. He left me on, the, uh, on this day, I guess. Just look at all the pillars that they got. Just pillars on pillars on pillars on pillars. The archway and they got the uh, somatic patterns in the background there. Big old doorways, copper everywhere. Just another beautiful church. All right, this is the Church of the Immaculate Conception or some BS like that. But um, if you stuck around this long, we're now we're getting into the the meat or the juice. But these next four are sure evidence of mud flood. Yeah, just a beautiful church. I'm out on this foggy day again. Actually, it was so foggy that my camera was actually getting just drops just on it. It was just, and you got the three doors again. I kind of can't see some of the really good work here, but we'll get, I think we get closer and it gets a little bit better. Tons of stone work and the last dinner in stone and little cherubs and amazing doorways and we're going to break this down because this place is actually probably should have done its own video because it's going to probably be let's get into it so this is the cymatic pattern like look at that one that's pretty cool so this is just you know more shields and stuff yeah the cathedral of the immaculate conception that bs so this is the middle doorway that i guess I, everybody uses that they have on a huge staircase right that goes way up like what's why make all your parishioners go up so many stairs <laughs> right <laughs> Right above it, they have a shield here. This shield, it's something, I think this is like our common peace or something like that. Our lady of peace or something, I can't remember exactly, but it's uh, it's some kind of lot. Like, yeah, you got, I don't know, are these like fasces or what? But you got like the, the papal crown, the papal fish hat on it. And I'm not quite certain what that is. What's going on there? But you got like the rope that comes up. It's like these are supposed to be like weighted on each other. You know, like this is maybe, I don't know, the spirit, the most high. I don't know. Cut his rope. All the weight's dropping off his side. All the weight has gone to the Pope. And now we've moved away from, I'm just guess speculating that this is maybe almost like fire almost. I'm not quite certain. That's kind of really weird. It's a really weird picture, right? It's got the, the dove with the olive branch. The olive branch is on the bottom crisscrossing. Try the cross on top of it, of course. I want you guys to leave your thoughts about any of these pictures because there's a whole bunch of them on this building. So this is the other side. So this is Mary, I guess, right here, right? And then we got like the, the shields here. So this is supposed to be like uh, in his service or whatever it is. The IHS, whatever other serpent tails and shit they're putting in there and stuff, right? I don't know what's going on with that. But the papal double key, right? You know, this is the Dan Brown hinted at and all this shit and double cross and key in his one of his books there and the uh, yeah of course the sword like you know how they took over everything why 
do churches and crosses and like that always have swords it's supposed to be a symbol of peace and love and all this stuff but you had a sword on it and another beautiful doorway with the uh, the last dinner over it but look at all these cymatic patterns in here right yeah look at all the cymatic patterns up in this i wish i could pump some of these frequencies in here and then yeah you got you got this little cherub guy here what you got there cherub guy is that an upside down gmail for me bud and yeah the last dinner and set in alabaster or some kind of white ass stone and then we got these symbols here are all pretty crazy and this guy is under the main cross in over the front door and he's got name of is the name of the most high with the pyramid with these all seeing eye in it for some reason you got a cross with hands around it hands cut off the what is it the church is just going around cutting people's hands off i don't know crazy shit you got in uh his service or in her service because to me this it looks like the knights templar kind of shit going on flag of england see so yeah in here you got a ladder a cross and a rope what's going on there they hanging people from the cross was the cross originally a tree and they used to just lynch people oh snap and now they just took that symbol of a tree and made it into a cross something to think about and i don't know what's going on here we got a couple birds chilling on a cross with a uh, snakes maybe coming out of the chalice and then you got like a heart in the cross with like a circle going around it and lines coming off of it so i don't know if this is maybe supposed to be symbolized like an eagle or something tackling the serpent because you know the serpent was not not the bad one all right, and then we got this little one over here. So he's got like the DNA strand going on here. Of course, the cross is always there in all these. Looks like he's got the spear and the long axe. I guess the hammer, or the hammer chisel or whatever it is. You know, are they going around changing all the sculptures? Are they making all new carvings on all these? But they got the DNA there, you know, crisscrossing. The spear and long axe, like why, uh, I thought, Christianity is supposed to be about love and peace and all that, right? But we all know they're not. They're about hatred and killing and money and all that jazz, right? So we got to the DNA one, right? This is the tithing. This is you give your shirt off of the back. You put it in the collection plate and you best be doing it because you know what? They all about monies. And then, of course, everybody who's into the Flat Earth British and all those people will know the fasces. This, I guess, is the rope. This is the rope that ties around it. That ties around the fasces and just frays out at the end. What's going on there? Antiquitech. And then, uh, yeah, this one. It's the unsheathed unsheathed sword. I would take this as tabernacle and like the burning of the incense and the burning of the cannabossum in the, in the tabernacle to get to the Most High. And they've uh, taken out the sword. Probably destroyed that. I'm probably reading this backwards, you know, right? They probably, this is the most high, took the sword out, used the fasces and the sword, destroyed it. Now they want you to give your shirt off your back in the collection plate, changing your DNA. You could be here for hours trying to depict this stuff. More symbols, right? More symbols that they have on this place. That's, what the hell is that? And so, yeah, there's just these beautiful, there's just a beautiful, beautiful church. Right? Look at the size of that thing. All the back is so nice, right? Beautiful stained glass windows and all that. I wonder what's uh, what's actually happening here. The cymatic patterns, again, more cymatic, more cymatic patterns. Another beautiful door with more of those patterns just going on everywhere, right? Like, it's, have this frequency just to be pumping it in and out of this place, man. What we could be doing with these places, right? Who knows what they're actually really built for, right? And look, there's another chair at the top here. Oh, what's he's got? He's got, what was that, a key or something with a sword? I don't even think I took a better picture of that. Oh, I did take a better picture of that. So yeah, he's got his fascist and sword, maybe? And it looks like to me, like looks like a fascist and a sword, some sort, right? Or a mace, maybe? I don't know. But what is a mace? Beautiful stonework. And then, yeah, so this church is on top of a hill. And you, I was looking down here, and I was like, oh, like, you know, what's, that's a really far drop, you know? Like, what's going on with, so I decided that I'd go walk around the block here and check her out. And I found this little doorway. Where is this doorway leading to? Underneath here, right? Underneath this big earthen mound, or whatever you want to call it, that's holding up this church. So now we're going to go and check out a video about that, right? All right, so here's the video, and I'm just uh, chilling out. And I'm walking around, and I don't know if you can really pick it up. My computer is just horrible. But, this has smoke coming out of this spot here. Like, this is the parking lot for this place. And there is just... Oh, man, I really wish my computer didn't skip so much. There's smoke billowing out. 
me see if I can get this going a little bit better here. There's smoke just billowing out of these corners here. Right? Mostly this one here. And I was wondering what the hell is going on here. Alright, so this is uh, uh, Synagogue of the Saint in here. I think it's the King David. This is the level of the street. You're looking at, this is street level here. This is the building, that this is the front that you walk into, right? And this is all just the nice stonework. They got a little bit of a ledge that goes around on this side, right? So they have a ledge that goes around all the way around this building. And this is the nice, beautiful door. So this, this building was built in 1824 is what they're telling us, A.D., whatever if you want to believe that BS. And uh, yeah, so look at all the different stonework. Is that there's two completely different masonry that's happening. Star of David in there. So you got your semantic patterns, you got your big windows. This is that line, this is the ledge that they built. They got little spots here that are, they got these little doors that are down. Another shot of that place. So they got these two little doors here that are built under this ledge that goes all the way around. And look, it's like red brick in the back. They got this old big brick here. Ooh, look at that. Is there red brick underneath this brick? Who knows, man? Look at that, eh? That, this could all just be a fascia. It'd be a hell of a hell of a work to do a fascia like that. It's interesting there. They're falling off. I never even really noticed that until right now while I'm making this video. And look, there's a couple other spots here that they're chunking out. And it's just red brick behind it. Uh-oh, punching holes in the story. We got these little tiny doors. These doors were like four feet, four and a, like three and a half, four feet tall, like crawl spaces. This was probably a window. They just bricked it up, but it gets better. So this, when I, when I was walking towards this place, this is what I saw. And I was like, holy poops, look at that. So I kept walking up, and look at that. This is the street level of the building. What's going on down here? This is the street level. Like, this is the ledge that goes all the way around. And look, there's a whole other entrance in the back here. This as well, there used to be a building. And it is just destroyed, just rubble now. We're on a crazy old hill here. So who knows how deep this thing actually goes. So this is when you're walking up. You can see all the stonework coming up on the side here. This stonework, then there's this stonework. Then there's like this red brick that's just like a fascia. This red and black black pattern here it's just like a fascia pattern fascia that they put over it this is like actual red brick that they built and like this one's a completely different red brick than this one it's so wild and then you go all the way up and like the top very top part is a completely different red brick but it's just so many different kind of builds to it and like windows are being blocked in when they're above ground third story why block them in yeah and then this is me walking up the hill to get to that to get to the door what used to be a door or actually it could have probably been a window this is it right there. Bam. It's probably a window because there's ledge and the stone goes more, goes down more, right? So it's probably, this here is probably just a window. And this is just what's underneath this dirt here, you know? Who knows? And there's got this little cement cove here on the one side. But this is that random block, random foundation that I got going on here that comes up into a brick. This is all a big house here that just got taken out and destroyed. Now look at it. It's just a bunch of rocks everywhere. It's probably that sandstone, big fat sandstone blocks that they just mashed up. Look at that beautiful. Why leave those stones there like that? That just makes you think that it's just a fascia. And then here, this is 100% just a fascia, right? These, This is flashing that kind of goes up into the concrete. And this is just the thin little f half fascia that they got going on that makes it look like it's brick, right? And then this is uh, the big, giant, giant windows. Look at the size of those windows. And the foundation just goes right straight down into the ground. That's a uh, that's Cambodian-style top here, right? Imagine the uh, the frequencies this place was picking up or putting out. Wow, eh? So nice. But yeah, the foundation just goes right into the ground. There's no ledge on this side. It just goes straight into the ground. So how, how deep does it go? That's the, the Synagogue of Satan. There's a few other churches that I want to get into, but these are the last two that I'm going to do in this video because it's stretching way longer than I thought it was going to. But this is the, the St. Andrew's Church of Scotland, 1814. That's what it looked like in 1814. This is the Trinity Church in 1789. They built this rude boy in 1789. Look at that bad boy, right? Wow. Even this one's pretty crazy for 1814. Like, look at the size of those doorways and the pillars and everything. Anyways, so that, these are the last two I'm going to leave you with.
and what they look like nowadays. So this is St. Andrew's Kirk. And look how beautiful it is. They used to, apparently in Scotland, they called churches Kirks. And yeah, look, three big ass doors. Just a beautiful, beautiful church. Here's another picture with horrible shadows on it. And another one with a big tree in front of it. It's really hard to get a very good picture of this place because there's trees everywhere. And I tried to go in the wind. And this is the beautiful St. Andrew's Kirk. Like, just amazing. <laughs> These damn seagulls. Yeah, so this was... The original was built in 1784, 1814, like it says in that last picture. And, uh, and then it was rebuilt in 1878 after the Great Fire. One year after the Great Fire, they rebuilt this church. You tell me if that's plausible. It's a beautiful tower. They look like they're doing some stuff to it. It looks like it even still has the old wires around it from when they were collecting all their antiquitec or and then there's uh, this guy so this guy tells you a little bit about this place this shield was erected by the presbytery of saint john and the united church of canada on may 18th 1934 to commemorate the establishment in 1784 of saint andrew's kirk mother church of Presbyterian in New Brunswick. So this is the mother church of the Presbyterians in New Brunswick. It all started right there. Uh, constructed in 1879, which is different than the sign says there, or the stone that they built on, um, on the place of the 1815 Altkirk, so I guess the other one was called the Altkirk, the present church is a faithful representation of the Gothic Revival style. One highlight of the interior is the cathedral pulpit by local carver John something. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and see if I can get in there. This isn't a church anymore. It's now in private hands and they're restoring it into something else and I hope they don't restore too much of it. And I hope that actually they make it into something that we can actually see. This is a handle. So the Israelites were enslaved by the pharaoh and moses led them out of being enslaved by the pharaoh why would you put the pharaoh on the door handle of a church and he looks real white too doesn't he yeah that's some shit man it's beautiful stonework here just beautiful stonework in this place right there's your knockers <laughs> Your handles. Look at that. The thistles, eh? Thistles for hinges. Just beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful doorway and churches and the cinematic patterns and stained glass. Now we're getting into the mud flood stuff. So this is the this is around the side. So it's just a red brick building around the side. The rest of the uh, the front's all that big stonework. This is just now red brick. So as we go along with it, this is the uh, mud flood windows that it has. And there's more of them. I just think that that's just a terrible way to build them. No ledge. Yeah, no ledge for them to, to stop the water or nothing. It's just a terrible way to build everything. So more of them. Window right underneath another window, right? So right where a window should be, but it's underground or in the ground. Not where a window should be. Yeah, it makes you wonder that the ground has risen up. Rapid cultural layering. There's the beautiful window. I was I had to squeeze down an alleyway so I couldn't get a very good uh, picture of what's going on in the stained glass. More cymatic patterns all over. And there's that beautiful stonework ledge again. Just amazing. Brick build-outs and the old big giant doorways with the cymatic patterns above it again. What's up with this window? Right, so you got three windows up on the top, and then you got this window here. What's going on with that? It's even waters, or the snow's even coming towards it. It's like, that's 100% mud flooded window. I don't see how you can call it anything else. Right, and there's that beautiful brickwork build out. Oh, more windows, more uh, archways that are just into the ground. Right, this is probably a door that they had, like a big archway for a door. They had to take out and brick up more arches in the ground. This whole building, look at that, what's going on there? This whole freaking building is like that. And then there's the other side with the other beautiful cymatic pattern. So it almost makes me wonder that this might have been the front of the church. And then we got these blocks here. Are these from the old, old, old building? 1784 building that's just chilling out here? There's a mud flood window beneath it and another doorway beside it. So like they had two right underneath it. And now they had to build this little shack here so the water doesn't get in. And is this, yeah, is this big stones from the old original buildings? Like, look at that, just laying around. You can go pick them up. Craziness. This is how we do. We just leave our big building, big blocks around. It's my foot. Just these blocks are just chilling there. 
the snow just bury like that's why they break him up and this is the so this makes me think that this was almost like at one point the front of the church now we're doing the trinity church she's a beaut let me tell you and this is like a stone random stone wall that they have just built right up against this house so this is you know was this another building that was made in front of the church like, they weren't really planning this uh this ramp here very well for uh the winter were, were they just a beautiful church you know um, definite mud flutter at the windows right below so this block this block here doesn't match this block here but this block here is in the windows so after they got the after everything got burnt out and destroyed and mud flooded and all that jazz they decided to come back in and build the rest of this building they used the building the blocks that they were going to build the rest of it with they blocked up the mud flood windows this is the back end of the church and then yeah and then there's a whole big add-on to it yeah so this is it right here we're gonna go back through it so this is the beautiful beautiful front door look at that eh shiny pillars like the day that they were built look at that eh wow just a beautiful door all the way up and it's got the lamb of judah the lamb of utah or well in this case he's rocking the uh knight's templar cross or yeah knight's templar cross or the maltese cross or whatever you want to call it and look at that beautiful beautiful stone cross on the top Man, that is cool. And yeah, you got more pillars on the sides. Just an amazing church. There's more, there's another big cross like that on the top. And the weather vane, the f Jesus fish. All copper on the top. Getting in all that Antiquitech. Got all the green just coming down the, build, the bricks. A nice little glass window there. And the top part, that's pretty cool. Nice shadow picture. So this is the back part. And this is, uh, yeah, it just got copper just streaming off of it. I don't know if this whole roof is all copper or if it's just the outside of it. But it is just pouring. It looks like it's all copper on the top. Yeah, it's all copper on the top. And there's copper just pouring down the side. Look at that, just staining it all. Beautiful, eh? And look, there's the more mud flood windows there. More mud flood windows. A window right underneath the next window. Same stonework as here. Two windows. One one blocked up, one not. Cymatic patterns. Beautiful, beautiful cymatic patterns all up in this one. Eh? And just amazing. Just amazing stained glass. So there's like two churches, but they're just... They're joined by this little runway here. This is like a six-foot door, so it's a really small door. <laughs> And then, yeah, the next cymatic pattern uh, on the next church. Just beautiful. It's a nice little shot there. And there's a wall that goes all the way down it. More stonework underneath. Uh, more stonework in the windows on the ground. Uh, mud flood windows. More mud flood windows just everywhere, right? It almost looks like a person. But it's really the Jesus fish. Almost looks like a person like a go that way. These big giant pieces of whatever they are, concrete or if they're actual stones, but they're giant. Just like these big pieces here. And there's a nice beautiful door. So this is like the side door that they have to the place. And this is uh the tower again. Showing you all the green coming down. Yeah, and here's the front door. How far down does these stairs go? Who knows? But look how big the, the blocks are here making up these stairs. 1879, so two years. Everything burnt down in October of 1877. Two years they had everything rebuilt. What hell of a builders they used to have, man. And that's like building the rest of the city with the uh, other 1,100 structures that they built. This is just a building that's beside it with more uh, windows that are in the ground. Right? What's going on here? Why did you make this archway only to brick it all in originally? Like, why didn't you just brick it all in? This is the runway between the two buildings here. You got the doorways coming down, the little walkways and stuff. Beautiful stonework that's been here for like, you know, 150-something years. Um, 
yeah, just another beautiful door. This is the back entrance to like the other church, or this is the entrance to the other church. We got these three windows in front, and then we got these three mud flood windows underneath. Yeah, and there's more beautiful cymatic patterns up in here, and there's uh, you got the little Star of David all up in here, and the Maltese cross. So, you know, these are probably all like different cymatic patterns that you can in this place but i thought this picture looked really weird one they have these archways here right they have like this archway going around here and then they have this archway going around here but then all these are built inside of a bigger window why didn't they just make it a big giant window instead of having these three windows rebuilding it in for these three windows also too they did this little spot here and they did 18 on one side and then 79 on the other, so just to let you know when it was built. So they were telling us that it was. It took a year and a half, or a year and a little bit, to build this these two churches. You know, did they plan it? Did they do anything like that? Like, did they just whip everything back up together? They, did they demolish the other building? Like, <laughs> you know, it only took them a year and a half to build it. It takes, usually takes, like, a few months just to demolish a building. And a building like the old churches would have been huge it would have been a, a, a quite the undertaking there's no way they built all these things that quickly more cymatic patterns in the windows and that's the uh that's the back side this is just another wall that they have going down could have been other buildings and yeah that's another another picture of it it's beautiful eh? This video turned out to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but um, thanks for all the positive feedback. Much loves to everybody, and uh, peace out.